Hello and welcome back to another Cookie Tech video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you on how you can use our Rank Gone to create your very own application center inside of Roblox. Please make sure you followed the previous tutorial on how to get your Rank Gone bot working in the first place. So what we need to do to get our application center working is we need to make sure we have the rank on docs open. So I'll leave a link for the rank on docs down below, that's docs.rankon.works. And all we need to do is click on usage, application center, and then setup. Great, it's time to set up your application center. This process is fairly simple and will be an enjoyable process. Download, you may download the application center here. Let's click on it and it's downloading and to open our file we just click on it and then now let's give it some time and it'll open up automatically inside of Roblox Studio. Okay so it just opened inside of Roblox Studio and as you can see it's just a blank workspace. So to actually configure our center to work we need to publish it so you can use Alt P and then I'm just going to call this the cookie tech application center then I'm going to create it and then we can go from there. So let's just give it a couple of seconds and then let's close it. Now, next of all, you need to make sure HTTP requests are on and this will allow our server to communicate with our rank on server via HTTP requests. So let's click on game settings, head to security. And as you can see, allow HTTP requests are on. If they're like this, make sure you click on them so it's all green and then click the save button. For me, they're already enabled, so I don't need to do this step. Finally, we need to configure our center. So let's head to server script service, and then make sure you don't open a rank gun loader. This could crash your PC, so make sure you're very careful. Then main module, you don't need to worry about this either, but what you do need to worry about is configure. So let's double click on that. And as you can see, we have this configuration file. So first things first, we need to set our main color. For example, we have a hex color here. This is the default blue. I would recommend heading online to a hex selector and then picking your color there. However, I'm going to keep it on the default blue. Next, we need to set our mode. At the moment, the dark mode is the only one supported, so we can skip that step too. Next, we're going to go onto the username step. Now, here is a really important thing that people mess on. If you're on an elite tier, Here's a really important step where people mess up on. If you're on a three account, make sure that your username is not a string. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to remove this part. Now you may be thinking to yourself, what is my account? Well, this is gonna be super easy to get it. Just head to your Chrome or to your browser of your choice. And then what you need to do is you say slash free configure and then click on credentials. As you can see, we have your username and we have your password. So I'm going to double click on this username and I'm going to copy it. Make sure that you don't share these credentials with people you don't trust. If people who you don't trust have access to these credentials, they could use your ranking bot without your permission. So let's head back to Roblox Studio. And then you can see where it says config.username, we're just going to paste in your username. And that's it. Now we're going to head back to Roblox Studio. And you can see there's the password. Once again, make sure you don't share this with people you don't trust. And then we're going to paste it where the password is. Now here's the type of service. So at the moment, we're not on the elite tier, so you can set this to free. And now we can configure our jobs. So at the moment, we have one job. As you can see, I can close it and it just says one. For example, if we want two jobs, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to drop a line and then I'm going to paste it again. Make sure you put a unique name. I'm going to call this rank two now. And then we could call this, for example, junior worker. And then you could configure it from there. Since I don't want two ranks, I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to remove this part too. Now let's give our center name a unique name. So I'm going to call this cookie tech application center. Now we can get started with configuring the main core parts of this application center. So first things first, we have our name. Right now, I want this to be called moderator as this is the moderator exam. And then we need to give it a quick description. So I'm going to say, oops, I accidentally zoomed in. This is the moderator application 
pass it and receive moderator. Okay, there we go. Here we have the requirements. This is where it says group ID equals and group rank equals. For now, we're just not going to worry about this as it can be confusing. However, we are going to put our group ID inside. So let's head back to Chrome or the browser of your choice. Now, as you remember, in the first tutorial, we did set up our custom group. So we're going to head to the URL of the group we set up. And you can see how you get the group ID is once we load in, come on Roblox. Okay, I accidentally put in the wrong URL there. Um, bear with me. Okay, there we go. This is the group we set up. And now to get your group ID, you just look for the number that's after group slash and before the name. And then we can copy it. Then let's head back to Roblox Studio. And then where it says group ID equals, we're going to paste in our group ID. Okay. Now that we have that part done, we need to set our required points and our pass length. So for each question you get right, you receive one point. So let's say we have two questions, we want the user to get one question right to pass them. So what we need to do is we need to set our required points to one, and that means out of the two questions they have to do, if they get one question right, they will receive the point. Now here you can see it says pass rank, and right now let's head to our group, Let's click on the three dots, and then let's click on Configure Group. Now when we head over to Roles, we can see we have all of our roles here. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is the moderator application, so we want them to receive the moderator role when they pass. So out of our roles here, you can see where it says rank 0 to 255, we each have a unique rank here. But the unique rank affiliated with the moderator role is rank 2, so we're going to copy that, we're going to head back to studio, and where it says pass rank, we're going to paste in 2. And that means if the user passes that application, they will receive that reward. Now at the moment, there's one type of question, and that's the radio type. And a radio type is a multiple choice question. So where it says question, that's essentially the title of the question. Let's just leave this question default. And as we can see, we have our options, warn them, troll with them, nobody knows, ban them. So what you should do if there's a troller, you should warn them. So the correct answer is one. And instead of having three, we put one. Now let's say we want to put a question in. So let's pretend that we didn't have that question before. And then what we do is we just copy the question from the squiggly bracket to the next squiggly bracket. We drop a line and then we paste it in. And then let's give our question a custom name. Let's say, should you like and subscribe? And then we have a couple of answers. Yes. Then no, which will be our second multiple choice. Nobody knows. You have to, otherwise you're banned. And then we all know the correct answer is four. So let's put that in as the correct answer. And that's it, your application center is ready to go and it has auto ranking enabled. So let's make sure we publish that. You can use Alt P on your keyboard or you can use File Publish to Roblox. And now it's time to test it out inside of the Roblox player itself. Okay, we're now ready to test this out. So as you can see, I'm in the group that the bot is inside and I can also head to the application center and then I'm going to click on the play button and then I'm going to head inside of the application center. Okay, we're now inside of the application center. Moderator, this is the moderator application, pass it and receive moderator. Okay, so let's apply. Okay, what do you do if there's a troll? Well, obviously we warn them. Next question. Should you like and subscribe? Yes, of course, this is definitely the right answer. Next question, ranking. You have passed and you may now leave the game. Let's exit out of here, close Roblox. Let's refresh the page to make sure we were ranked. And, and it's that simple to set up a rank bot like that and your application center. 
So this is probably one of the last episodes from this series, so if you have any suggestions, make sure to leave them down below. That's all from me. If you have any questions or issues with RankGun, reach out to RankGun support, which is rankgun.works. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. If you're interested in Roblox development, or you're just curious in Roblox as a whole, you can head to our forums, which are also linked down below. That's all from me. Thank you for tuning in, and bye bye. Thank you.